Hi, I'm Frank J. Fleming. You might remember me from such books as Obama, the greatest president in the history of everything, and Puncher and her Hippie, and also numerous political satire columns. But I've written something somewhat serious for a change, a uh, science fiction novel, and I'm really excited to tell you about it. It's called uh, Super Ego, and it's a story about morality, love, and finding one's purpose in life. And it's told from the perspective of a complete psychopath. The main character, Rico, was uh, made in a sort of super soldier program design, and there was a bit of a problem in his creation that he's unable to internalize morality. Uh, tying his shoe, killing a person, it's all just actions to him. Now this makes it a little bit hard for him socially, but he's overcome that by finding a job where his uh, detachment's an asset. He's a hitman. But out on a, uh, a job, he accidentally ends up a hero and pretend to be a police officer while he hunts down terrorists with the help of a female detective that he ends up finding himself attracted to. As things start to be a little bit odd about his current job, he begins to re-examine his life. Now, the setting uh, is far in the future after mankind has colonized lots of planets and uh, interacted with lots of different sentient uh, alien species. And because of all these plants spread out and all the different laws, uh, large governments have become a bit feckless, and thus uh, criminal syndicates have sort of come in to fill the power void because they don't care about territory or anything like that. And the main character, Rico, is a enforcer for one of these syndicates, and uh, thus he doesn't really have to worry about legal consequences to his action. Also, he doesn't have any pains of guilt, so he's someone with really no practical use of morality. And I thought it was an interesting to develop a character like that to explore morality. Now, this isn't a uh, philosophical book, though. It's just it's a fun action adventure uh, with lots of twists and turns. You know, my ideal book is something that just hurdles forward and you have no idea where it's going, and that's what I hope achieved with this. Now, if after you read the book you say, hey, that made me think a little, you know, that that's great. But if afterwards you said, uh, wow, I was a real page turner, I couldn't put it down, that's more what I'm aiming for.